coming up on The Whitney Reynolds Show. When it comes to vulnerability, Davis Guggenheim, a director known for his work with ER, Melrose Place, The First Date, and many more, went there. He walked us through a hard stage that actually connected him to a story that was also difficult. And as the camera started rolling, both found deeper purpose. I read one of Michael J. Fox's books, and, uh, and it was so inspiring. And I was like, I want, I want to know more about that. I was down in the dumps during COVID. I'm approaching 60 years old. I felt like I was in a rut. And I was like, I'm sick of the movies I've been making. I need something different. And so I called him up. It lifted me out of that hole. Like it's, um, I think when people, people think when they hear about this movie, oh, it's gonna be a sad movie about a guy with Parkinson's. It's absolutely not that movie. It's, a, it's an uplifting story about it. this guy. He drops out of high school, moves to LA. He's like really short. No one thinks he's gonna do anything. He becomes the biggest movie star in America. He goes from nothing to here in like a couple of years. The story of me, take two. Three, two, here we go, ready, and action. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Here is Michael J. Fox. What is the secret of your success? And the winner is Michael J. Fox. I don't believe this, this is great. I feel four feet tall. I pitched Apple TV Plus. I said, I, wanna, I don't wanna make a documentary. I wanna make an 80s Michael J. Fox movie. A wild ride that has ups and downs and laughter and tears and that's what we did. It really does feel like a ride. I woke up and I noticed my pinky. Auto animated. Parkinson's disease. Going to the vulnerability part of his interviews, I mean, he went there. Yeah. Was it hard to have him go there? No, I think, here's the thing. He, he talks about Parkinson's as the gift that keeps on taking. Think about that. Parkinson's is this chronic disease. It gets worse and worse. It doesn't get better. But it's been a gift for him, like it is for all of us. When we start to touch our mortality and we start to feel fragile in our lives, we start to stop and appreciate things. I think because of who he is and where he is in his life, he's just like, what am I going to hide? And I think often when you watch a documentary, you're going, are they really telling me everything? Like they're circling around this one idea, but they don't, they're just giving me sort of like half the story. This, Michael's an open book in this movie. What did it mean to be still? I wouldn't know I was ever still. I get it. I was big. I was bigger than bubblegum. The sad sack story is Michael J. Fox gets this debilitating disease and it crushes him. Yeah, that's boring. I just want people to feel what I feel, you know, which is like he lifts me up. Here's this guy. He's got a really tough deal right now. His Parkinson's is pretty advanced. But every time I'm with him, it lifts me up. And when I, people watch this movie, I want them to feel that way too. Comes out on May 12th on Apple TV+. It's in theaters that week as well, so I encourage people to watch it in theaters.